Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be me using new drugstore makeup. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I know I've been missing in action for a little bit and some of you all have seen in my community post that I live in Texas and I have been going through the storm and the aftermath and trying to get my house back to where it was before the storm. So um, I thought I would come back and use some new products that I have. I've had these products uh, for probably over a month, for a little bit, um, definitely before the storm. And this video was supposed to be up some time ago. So as you all know by the thumbnail, I have the two new LA Girl eyeshadow palettes. I have the, what is this, the Revlon foundation, the new uh, NYX, lipstick, the BFF um, bronzer, the new cream blush by Milani. I also have the new Ardell 8D lashes. Yes, 8D. <laughs> they have an 8D. Um, I also have the Maybelline Tattoo Studio uh, 36 hour eyeliner plus their brow pencil. Um, it's over here somewhere. Okay, um, you'll actually see it during the demo. So I did have to go in, spoiler alert, I had to go in with one of my Morphe bronzers because this uh, face palette is like way too light for me. I knew it would be kind of on the light side, but I didn't know it would just be super, super light. So that was kind of a dis disappointment. Oh, and I also have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Concealer and let's see i did use a few other super affordable products in this video and you'll see what i'm talking about i did get this look i hope you all like if you do please let me know down in the comments and that's pretty much it let's get into the look all right so i feel like i'm so out of the groove with things so let's just go ahead and get this party started the brow pencil that i have is by maybelline and this is the tattoo studio 36 hour pencil it's new and it just looks like a regular pencil you get the spoolie on one end and a pencil uh, type of situation on the other end and let's just go at it okay so it's very creamy goes on very smoothly this is in deep brown and I feel as though the shade is too dark I should have got a lighter shade so I'm just going to go ahead and do these brows. And since it's so dark, I'm just going to fill in the tail end and kind of do that fading type of thing that is so popular. All right, so got that applied. And now I'm going to use this uh, Sephora. This is a full coverage foundation. And I actually found this in, uh, what is it, Marshalls. And it's too light, but since it was in this kind of tube and um, it was full coverage, I thought I would try it as a concealer, like to carve out my brows. So I'm gonna use this, and I know this isn't technically drugstore, but you can find this in Marshalls for a couple of bucks. Even if you were to get it from Sephora, it's still not gonna be a lot of money. Um, I think maybe $18 or something like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows. And I've been using this lately to carve out my brows uh, just because it's full coverage and I like the end result. And just in case you can't tell, it is super thick. So um, if you were to pick this up and want to use it for a foundation, just be mindful of that. And to me, it is like super full coverage. It's not like fake full coverage, wannabe full coverage. It's like super full coverage. All right, so I've got the LA Girl VIP palette and the LA Girl main stage palette, but I think I'm going to dip into the main stage palette. And this is it. Okay, so these colors are super pretty. You know what? Um, let me go, what is in this palette? Let me go back. I think I'm going to use both. Um, only because I don't want to use any of these uh, blues and 
purples and stuff like that in my crease. I'm going somewhere, so I don't want the look to be just too, too dramatic. So I'm gonna go in with this palette and I'm going to put this shade right here in my crease. Okay, and you all already saw, I did not set my base. And this shadow is going on really smoothly. And I'm using a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush. I think this is one of their vegan brushes, which I happen to like a lot. All right, and for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use this shade right here. All right, so to go deeper into the crease, you already know I'm going to use this chocolate shade up here. And it's gonna add it right on the tail end. And I'm gonna have to pack this a little bit. So as you can see, it could be more pigmented, but hey, I can still work with it. I think that if my um, base was a little bit uh, more, um, I guess I'll use the word damp. It probably would show up a bit darker, but either way, I'll just have to build that up and that's okay. So I'm gonna build this up. And as you can see, to build it up, I'm just doing a packing type of thing and then bringing it in to the inner part of the eye. All right, so I got that applied and that's about as deep as I could get this to show up. So the next shade I'm going to put on is gonna be this shade right here. So I'm gonna try a brush first. Yeah, this isn't going on well with a brush. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the finger as you can see. I kind of had a feeling. Some of these shadows, as you all already know, they just don't do well with the brush at all. Very pretty. And I'm gonna do this side as well with the finger. I also think that they would be great beginner palettes because they are very, the shadows are super forgiving. Okay, so I got that on. And then I think I'm gonna use this orange shade. And I'm going to apply that right in the inner corner. And up close, it's not really looking orange, like on the eye. Okay, now that I have that applied, and I did use the brush as well as my finger, I'm gonna go back in and add some of this, um, this uh, darker shade to see if I can kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. And I'm gonna bring it all the way up, kind of like in the crease to, to this lighter shade. So overall, you know, this palette, I think it's pretty solid, just like all of their other palettes. And I'm gonna go in next with this Maybelline Studio, excuse me, Tattoo Studio Liquid Ink Liner. Comes in a box like this. And the shade that I have it in is, hold on y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on, it's black. <laughs> it's black, okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, so this is it. Okay, and I'm hoping that this dries matte. Um, this is what it looks like swatched. So I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. And then after I line my eyes, I'm going to add my lashes. But, but so far, what I can tell you about this is that it's going over this eyeshadow really well. Sometimes there's eyeliners that won't go over your eyeshadow really well or glide over it. It kind of skips and does other tricks. Mm, but this is nice, I like it. I guess now I need to see if it dries matte. I don't remember if it stated that on the package or not.
All right, so I got that and I'm just going to use a regular mascara. This is a Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and I'm just doing this to prep my lashes for my falsies. And the falsies that I have are the Ardell 8D lashes and this is in style, what is this, 950. This is what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to use a semi glue <laughs> because that's what you use to apply your lashes unless you're using magnetic, but y'all already know that. I mean, come on, I'm just stating the obvious. And right now it's looking like that this eyeliner is not drying matte and I don't like that. So I'm not sure why they call these 8D. I need to read what it says and then put it somewhere on the screen. <laughs> but, um, you know, they're 8D. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the lashes on and I don't really like these lash, I don't like the band because the band is like, I didn't even realize it, the band is clear. So you have to go in and make it black. And as far as the eyeliner, the eyeliner is the business. Very pigmented, goes on really easily, but it doesn't dry matte. So I had to go over it with a black eyeshadow and so, yeah, that's about the only gripe um, I have with those items. So I'm going to go in with my foundation now. And I have the Revlon Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. This is it right here. And the shade that I have it in is Mocha. And here is the, um, I guess, the, the packaging. And I'm going to squeeze it out on the back of my hand. And it's very fluid. Do you see how thin that is? So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on my face. And I know this is light coverage, so I'm going to just see what it will do. And I can tell you right now, so far I like it. And it does have a light scent. And I hate to say this, but I'm thinking, I don't like the scent. It almost smells like paint. And I'm gonna go up here with a sponge. So this foundation is very, um, it looks like it would be really like dewy, but when I touch it, not so much. So I don't know yet if I'm going to set this. Okay, let me try to get this blended up here. And it it's very, it dries very, very fast. So you're gonna have to work really fast with this. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna add another layer. Oh no, I don't think I am. Okay, so I'm not gonna go in with the second layer. I'm just gonna leave it at it as is. You know what? I'm going to put a little on this scar over here just to see what will happen. See if it'll kind of cover it up. And I have another one right here. Okay, so that's it. I'm not gonna add another layer. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the concealer that I have, and this is CoverGirl Clean Fresh Concealer, and the shade that I have is, I'm not sure, um, I'll put it on the screen. This is it right here. So I'm going to add this under here, and I think this might be light coverage as well.
And to set the concealer, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Translucent Powder. And then for the under eye, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go back in this palette right here and just add a pop of color. And I think I wanna add the green, or do I wanna add the purple? I'm gonna add the green on the inner part of the lower lash line and the purple on the outer. And this is the green, and this is the purple. So let's go ahead and do that. And that way I can, at least dip into both of these palettes. I think both of them are so pretty. And there is fallout, so you gotta be really careful with this, with the shades in this palette. And now I'm gonna dig into this pretty purple-like color. All right, so I'm gonna add some mascara. All right, so for bronzer, I'm going to go in with this BFF palette. And I didn't realize all of these shades were gonna be so, so light, but I'm gonna try to bronze with this shade right here. So let's see what happens. So yeah, I don't see anything at all. In fact, I think it's probably light. <laughs> probably making it lighter. Well, I don't know. Do y'all see anything right there? Do y'all see it getting darker? It's almost as though it makes me look ashy. There's a highlighter in here, but I don't think I'm gonna use it because it is like super icy. Let me just swatch it. See how icy that is? Okay, sorry, but I'm gonna have to go in with my Morphe <laughs> bronzer and fix this because this is just this uh, bronzer because this is I have somewhere to go and I don't want it to. It's just too light. I need to. I need my face deepened up some. So, all right. So I fixed that. Uh, just couldn't do it. I have somewhere to go and I can't be going out in the streets like that. So I'm going to kind of clean up my contour a little bit right here. Okay, so I got that done. Let me, as soon as I do that, I just kind of take it and wipe it off. All right, and for blush, I have this Milani Cream Blush, and we're gonna apply this over, we're gonna apply this, and I have a like a stippling brush, a Real, Tex, Real Techniques brush, and this is it, and I'm just going to go in like this, and just add it right there, just a little bit, a little bit on my nose. And then I'm going to take this bigger stippling brush and kind of blend it out. Alright, and I'm in the home stretch. The last thing that I have is my NYX lip liner. This is a lip liner. This one isn't new, but it came in the kit. This is the kit. And let's see, what is this called? This is the Prince's. Nork, Nokia, Miss, Miss Thing. So anyway, I'm not going to use that pencil. I'm just gonna go in with the lipstick part and Okay, so I got that applied, and this has a gloss on the other end, like a clear gloss. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it, even though you all know what clear looks like. 
um, but I don't want it over this. I just want it to be, you know, matte. So I'm thinking this is pretty much it. This is my affordable look. <laughs>